The Magic City's longest running art fair also returns this week, showing thousands of works from more than 900 artists. Danny Dykes visited Art Miami in One Herald Plaza. She joins us now with more on the 32nd edition, and this one is a good one, Danny. Yes, it is, Joanna and Jen. They say that art is a reflection of the times. Many of these artists at the fair are highlighting global and national issues. I spoke with the gallerists working to raise awareness and funds for Ukraine. The words are unspoken through the image, so the visual here is so stunning and so striking. The Thinker is a latest series by Ukrainian-American artist Lina Kondes. The sculptor completed the work in Kiev for Art Miami while war was raging on around her. It's been a challenge, um, work stoppage issues, power loss, so it's been on and off process of creating this with delays. Her factory, her fabricator um, also and you know had to stop the process and create uh, blockade structures uh, to stop the tanks during the war. As the conflict continues overseas, galleries and international artists in the Magic City are showing their solidarity with the Ukrainian people. Artists are very sensitive people at many different levels and the things that are happening globally and even nationally, politically or international, the war in Ukraine, Roe versus Wade here in the United States, clearly is as and, and just pre-pandemic and post-pandemic political issues, a lot of that is being expressed on the floor this year um, in a way to benefit those that are suffering. Child prodigy Andres Valencia will release limited edition signed prints with the idea to raise half a million dollars. All of the proceeds from the 11 year old's work will benefit the Klitschko Foundation, providing humanitarian aid. This is a woman who she's Ukrainian. She's a humanitarian. Her family is still in the Ukraine. Sponder Gallery, an entirely female-owned and operated business, is donating a portion of its proceeds to the Ukrainian Women's Fund. The owner says Tigran usually paints only in black and white, but this piece, with its hand drawings and embellishments, is in color. When we unrolled it and saw the yellow, we were at first a little in shock. I know everyone, you know, is very concerned, and the yellow and blue, everyone is wearing their T-shirts. But to buy an expensive piece with the colors to show support, um, you know, I was concerned. And here it is, the first piece we sold on the first night of the fair. Outside the fair, an installation features a children's slide removed from a shelled playground in Airpin. The chairs surrounding it encourage collectors and art lovers not to just sit by, but stand up for Ukraine and its people. And tickets are available online for Art Miami. For more information, just visit our website, NBC6.com.